In the past years, Chinese President Xi Jinping called for a robot revolution. And today, China has rapidly become a world leader in automation and robotics as they transform most of their factories into places where robots are doing most of the jobs. But the question is, could China's automation take human jobs? Hi everyone, how's it going? Richard Aguilar here and I'm back to give you another great video. But before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe and smash the bell icon so that you will always be updated with our new videos. So, get ready to see how robotic automation is already expanding and gaining momentum in China's factories and warehouses. And without further delay, let's get into our video. Number 1 is, automation is implemented in greed to cut costs. The robots could flexibly wave its hand to grab and put down the spare parts. Except regular checkups, robots could work around the clock in hard physical posts. One of China's most modern manufacturing enterprises, headquartered in Guangdong province, has adopted a strategy of replacing human labor with robots and saved 10% of its labor costs so far. In one of its major drives to economic growth, China has been home to nearly a quarter of the world's industrial robots, with demands for robots topping the globe in the past years. Number 2 is Technology Made in China by Robots The southern Chinese city of Dongguan built its fortune by manufacturing goods for the world, relying for decades on cheap manual labor to produce low-end goods. But in recent years, there has been a massive shift towards automation, following a period of economic hardship and rising labor costs. Nowadays, these are just some of the factories in the city where machines are replacing humans on the assembly line. Chinese companies installed 154,000 robots in 2018, compared with Japan's 55,200 and the US 40,400 according to the International Federation of Robotics. Number 3 is China's factory workshop transformed into automation.
Chinese companies not only adopt robots, they also manufacture them. A national campaign made in China 2025 encourages automated processes and intelligent manufacturing. In southern China's Guangdong province, a factory is under transforming its workshops into a robot zone. Automation becomes a norm here. In here, most of the tasks are done by robots. Number 4 is Super Large Automated Warehouse for China's Shopping Spree. This is a 200,000 square meter warehouse. The facility belongs to Sunning, one of China's e commerce giants. This warehouse can store 20 million pieces of goods and dispatch 1.81 million pieces per day with the help of its robotic automation. Number 5 is Smart Production Line for Aerospace Components in Shanghai. A new smart production line for making aerospace components has been launched in Shanghai. Automation now has been common in China. What's good about rapid robotization in the country is that the government supports companies that implement robotic automation in key industries, including household electric appliances, automobile manufacturing, electronics, and logistics. Number 6 is China's private manufacturers becoming competitive through automation. The year 2018 marked the 40th anniversary of China's reform and opening up policy. During the four decades, a number of Chinese private manufacturers have emerged and become internationally competitive. One example among the many is the car manufacturing companies like what you can see in here. Number 7 is Warehouse Automation in China's Xinjiang. In China, this is what really happens to your parcel before they are put on board for delivery. A lot of automation is going on in this Chinese warehouse with the help of AI and robots.
Watch how parcels are delivered to your home from Xinjiang, China. And that concludes this video for today. So, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and share this with others. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video.